Hello there programmers and welcome. Today we're going to be covering the bubble sort, uh, which is an algorithm for uh, organizing arrays by copying uh, the objects that are the largest on the left and moving them to the right side of the array. So we're going to look at an example here. Uh, this is one we're going to solve today. And what you're going to notice is that the largest items on the left will shift all the way to the right side of the array. The way this works is we're doing a comparison between every two items, and if the item on the left is larger, it moves to the right. You notice that the 12 moved all the way over to the right, and once it got there, we locked it into place to say that it was done and we don't have to compare it anymore. And as each item uh, in the array moves into position, we're locking it, no longer having to compare. And now we can see that all of them have been locked in place. So let's go ahead and write the code for this, what it's actually going to look like. We're going to jump in. We're going to write this in Python. You can see uh, the code we're going to be writing above. And um, let's go ahead and jump in. So the way to do this is we're going to need to write two for loops. Okay. The two for loops are going to take us through the entire array multiple times. We're going to cycle through the entire array until we've seen every item um, at at least n times. So for each n items in the array, we're going to look at it n minus 1 times. Okay, And now that's what I'm doing here. I'm setting up the inner loop to look at n minus 1 items within the array. And then we're going to create an if statement here. And the if statement is going to say if the item is on the left is greater than the item on the right. And then uh, we're actually going to perform the swap. We're going to use, uh, take advantage of Python's uh, ability to do multiple, uh, move multiple objects at the same time. We're going to say array item left plus array item right equals array item right, array item left. And that will just swap those two values in place in the array. And that's all we really have to do there once we run through that process. Now we can go down into our main function and we can start to look at how this actually works. So let's comment out the bubble sort first, make sure that everything fails as we expect it to. We have an assert here, so we should see the trace back, as you can see. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to uncomment this line. We're going to run through. You should now see that the same array that we just saw as a demo, when we run this, now we're going to see the properly sorted array printed out. And that's the final output that we're looking for here. And that's all there is to it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you in our next tutorial lesson.